Well, good evening, Big Country. I hope everybody has enjoyed their Tuesday afternoon. And unfortunately, heading into this weekend, due to some upper level ridging that will be building, we will be seeing those temperatures heating up closer to those triple digits. Now, rain chances do stay far out into the forecast. But before we get into those temperatures, let's take a look at Tropical Cyclone Francie. Now, this has remained in the southern part of the Gulf just off the coast of New Mexico as well as the tip of Texas and it's slowly starting to make its way up the coast and to the coast of Louisiana. Now right now we see it as a tropical cyclone. They are expecting it to increase to a category one hurricane. Now yesterday they were projecting it to become a category two hurricane, but things have lightened up and those conditions have not yet let it increase into those higher conditions. Now right now we see these spaghetti plots just see all agreeing that it is going to be making its way up just off the coast of Louisiana. We can expect it to hit around Wednesday around 1 p.m. with those winds sustaining at about 90 miles per hour. Now heading into the next couple of days, we can see it weaken and start to make it make its way up the Gulf and seeing it go up into the Midwest. So the Midwest is going to be expecting a lot of rain heading into the next couple of days. Now for us, we can expect a lot of moisture and with those warmer temperatures and the combination of the two, we can expect some isolated thunderstorms, which is something that we'll keep an eye on and keep you guys up to date on. Now let's take a look at the current temperatures across the state of Texas, seeing 86 degrees in Houston, so a little bit cooler down here along the coast, 90 degrees up in Tyler, 87 degrees in the DFW area, and then in eight, Lubbock, 86 degrees. Now the temperature trend over the next five days, unfortunately, jumping above that average high of 90 degrees this time of year. Now tomorrow, 89 degrees with mostly sunny skies, and then we see things start to trend up as we head into the weekend, seeing the warmest day on Saturday at 98 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Now that satellite and radar shows Francine starting to make its way up the coast and we see all of these watches and warnings along the Texas coast as well as that hurricane warning along the Louisiana coast. But calm and clear conditions across the state and taking a look at Max Live Radar, we're expecting lots of sunshine and clear skies today. Now currently in Abilene, it is a beautiful day, 87 degrees with those winds out of the southwest at 6 miles per hour and the humidity bone dry at 19%. But the current temperatures across the big country seeing pretty warm temperatures all around, 91 degrees in Comanche, a little bit cooler in Eastland at 85 degrees, and then 90 degrees in Anson, Aspermont, Haskell, as well as Knox City. Now let's take a look at those current winds coming out of the southeast right now. A little bit of variability here in Abilene at 6 miles per hour, and then calm winds out in Snyder at 3 miles per hour, and then up here in Knox City, 6 miles per hour, and then down in the heartland out of the east at 7 miles per hour. Future cast shows lots of clear skies as we head into the next couple of days. Now, as Francie makes its way up into the United States, we can expect to see a couple of showers in the Dallas area. But unfortunately for us, we're just going to be seeing a few isolated showers with that moisture and those daily heatings. Now Abilene tonight, 61 degrees, mostly clear and some calm winds out of the southeast. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny, a very warm day for us at 89 degrees. And then those winds will remain out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now in the heartland tonight, 69 to 62 degrees, mostly clear, a very nice night for them with those winds out of the northeast. And then tomorrow, 89 degrees, heating up with those winds starting out of the north and then shifting out of the northeast. Now let's take a look at this extended forecast, seeing nice temperatures on Wednesday and Thursday, but we head back into the 90s, heading into the weekend, our hottest day on Saturday, with temperatures increasing and then decreasing, heading into next week with the potential for some showers, heading into Monday and Tuesday. But I just feel like every time I'm forecasting rain, it's just so far away. It's like, it doesn't get any closer. Well, it'll, it'll get here eventually. I hope so. Right. Thank you, Catalina. Coming up